You're such a nerd, Double Dragon 912. Yep, and I'm proud to be a nerd. Video games are awesome! Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in this world. I'm Double Dragon 912, also known as DJ Unity. And ladies and gentlemen, we got another top 10 coming at you. Actually, I'm gonna do things a little bit different. I'm gonna do a top 15 this time. I see a lot of top 10s, top 20s, and never seen a top 15. So I'm trying to do things different on my channel. Uh, sorry guys, I know I haven't been really uploading videos lately. I've been really focusing on my new, brand new radio station I got out there. On, on the internet and trying to get that all squared up. It still ain't really fully where I want it to be, but I'm trying to work on that a lot. But I haven't forgot about you guys. So today we're going to do my top 15, my favorite top 15 shoot 'em ups or smuffs of all time, as they like to say. If y'all didn't know what shoot 'em ups is, I'm just going to, you know, <clears throat> like your side scrolling shooters, you know, like your Thunder Forces, just to name a few. Shoot 'em up, Musa. Just name a few shoot 'em ups out there. Y'all know my shoot 'em up fans out there. Y'all know what exactly what I'm talking about. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let me get into this. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, on my top 15 favorite smuffs of all time has to be uh, Death Smiles. Wow! Now Death Smiles, I first played this game on Xbox 360, and you'd be surprised, ladies and gentlemen. The yeah, Xbox 360 actually has some great shoot 'em ups on that system. I'm be I'm surprised about that because you know Sony and Nintendo are known for you know shoot 'em ups are like more Japanese based type games. They they, they they thrive over there in Japan, but for some reason the 360 has a lot of hidden gems when it comes to shoot 'em ups. They got a lot of them, but I have to give them a 15 on my list of Dev Smiles. Dev Smiles they eventually rebought it back out on. Uh, PS4 and I think Nintendo Switch, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section. They actually got Death Smiles 1 and 2. I never played 2, but I played 1 and it was fun. Got got a little do, 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 do. the music real good on it. The graphics are real vibrant and colory, as, as, as I like to say. And uh, pretty good game, man. I enjoy it. Like, you know, most shoot 'em ups are very short. They ain't that long. You know, they're just a, like a bullet hill and the whole bunch of bullets coming at you and you got to dodge and try to stay alive. And so, uh, Death Smiles, when I first bought this game on 360, it came with a little face cover plate that you can get uh, put on your old 360. But I had the newer 360, so I really couldn't use that face cover plate. But this game is pretty tight, man. I like Death Smiles. Ain't much of a story to it, but hey, it's a good shoot 'em up to have. So coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number 15 has to be Death Smiles. Moving right along. Moving right along. Wind this thing down. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number 14 has to be Aki Katana. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, this game brought threw me by surprise, ladies and gentlemen. Never heard of this game. But it did come out on 360. I don't know if it came out on any other system. Correct me if I'm down. Correct me wrong. Correct me wrong. I'm tripping. Correct me 
down in the comment section if I'm wrong. Because I'm not for sure if it came out in any other system but this one. But the only one I knew about is it came over here in America on the 360. And I first saw when I first got my 360. Because if y'all didn't know, I got my 360 late, late, late in the 360 cycle. I got my 360 dang near poster when the Xbox One came out. So that's how late I got my 360. Because I've always been a PlayStation fan. But uh, Aki Katana is a pretty tight little bullet hell shooter. Uh, not much story. I just saw a boy and a girl on the cover, and it was just giving each other a hug, and you know, you play through the game, got all kind of uh, vibrant graphics. And like I said, I love to say vibrant. <laughs> I like to say that. <laughs> you stop this. Here. Play through the game, shooting up stuff, and it's a pretty tight little shooter. Check it out if you can find it on the 360. I'm pretty sure it's on the 360. I'm not sure what other console is it's uh it's on, because I don't need to know. So coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number 14 has to be Aki Katama. Hmm. <laughs> あなたは間違っている。やめてください。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あなたを。あ
So Treasure helped develop this game, and you know Konami just published it. And Greatest Five is a pretty awesome game. It's a two-player co-op. You can actually go through. Don't have a good shooting up in my opinion, but it had great music, great stage design, and it looks great for the PS2. Look like they really pushed the PS2 with this game. I really like this game, ladies and gentlemen. I can go back and play it, but before I go back and play Greatest Five, I might have to get some practice in because this is a hard game. This Greatest Five will not hold your hand. You, you, if you buy Greatest Five thing that's going to hold your hand, better think twice, buddy. <laughs> You're going to get your behind whooped. So, caution. You're going to play Greatest Five, be prepared for a challenge. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number <laughs> at number 12, is greatest five. This is Big Viper T301, commencing attack on the enemy. Come on, we're just getting started. Please continue. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we wind this countdown down baby. Coming in at number 11 has to be KOF Sky Stage. Wow ladies and gentlemen, this one kind of caught me off guard. You know, King of the Fighters is known for fighting games. But on the 360, 360, I ain't gonna lie to you ladies and gentlemen, they got a, Xbox 360 got a lot of great shoot 'em ups on there. I don't know why this system didn't really catch on in Japan, but they, they got a lot of great shoot 'em ups over there. I gotta give Microsoft credit. And uh, I played KOF Sky Stage, and it's pretty tight. What's so tight about it? If you play with all the King of the Fighter characters, you play with Terry Bogar, Koku Sanagi, Atana, Masir Nuri, of course. So hot. And you go through, it's like a shoot 'em up. But everybody got their little powers on there. Like Terry Bogard, he got his little shooting. And one of his special moves is Buster Wolf. And he let the, but when he do Buster Wolf on here, like the rays go everywhere. And then everybody got their own special move. It's got boss characters on it. And it's got a little side story going on with this thing. I don't understand how, you know, <laughs> King of the Fighter characters can fly now. But, hey, it works, man. It's a KOF, King of the Fighters, shoot em up, smup. I never thought I'd live to see a day to see something like this. It's crazy, though. But it's a good game, ladies and gentlemen. If you can find it. I don't know if they remade it yet. They might have remade it. Um... I know it came out on Xbox 360. I don't know what else it came out on. For the longest, it was a 360 exclusive. But I'm pretty sure they done brought that back out on maybe Switch or hopefully PS4 somewhere because I would love to get a physical copy of this. But ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number 11 has to be KOF Sky Stage.
continue. Let's go! All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number 10 has to be the Aerial Fighters series. Wow. Now, this series, ladies and gentlemen, I first got introduced to this series back on the Super Nintendo. I think I might have rented it one time on Super Nintendo. Either that or I played it in the arcade. Because I, I used to play a lot of games in the arcades. And Aerial Fighters, ladies and gentlemen, I can't just put one above the other because I think I played one, two, three, and four. But my favorite one was a uh, shout out to I do my homie back in the day we used to be at the move theater great memories at the move theater they used to have this little thing uh, at the move theater we used to play called Area Fighters 3 or 4 I can't remember which one it was if y'all comment down in this comment section y'all know what I'm talking about I used to be like yeah <laughs> hey my boy Joe he used to uh, make fun of he used to make, do this little thing of, yeah wah why? It was so funny, though, ladies and gentlemen. But every time we used to be working at the movie theater, and every time the, uh, the little demo be going off, that same right before you get to a boss, boss character be like do 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 do, and then all of a sudden, you know, he, yeah. <laughs> and that part of that game, man, used to have me rolling. But besides that, ladies and gentlemen, my nostalgia moment right there. The game is great. You are well. We're so tight about this game. You get to pick a, a plane from each uh, country. You got a Japan squad, the American squad, and really a squad, but a pilot from Japan, America, France, all pretty much all the countries in in you know across the world, and they fought to beat a common enemy. I don't even know if I ever beat one of these games before. I need to sit down and beat one of them, but it's, it's fun, ladies and gentlemen. It's fun. I used to always pick the. Uh, Japan dude because you know I was obsessed with anime back then and he used to have a little special bomb that has shurikens that go out and everybody had a different bomb for the Pacific company company I'm tripping country let me get it straight <laughs> but that would made it so unique ladies and by area fighters the whole series uh comment down there in the comment says and let me know if area fighters is still going I hope it is because it's a good franchise I love it I love area fighters so uh, because I couldn't put them ahead of one another. I had to lump them all together. So coming in at number 10 is the Aerial Fighters series. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the top 10. I just did number 10. Now we're going to do number 9. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number 9 is Astro Breed. Wow. I hope I said that right, ladies and gentlemen. Astro Breed came out on the PS4. It was a PS4 exclusive for the longest, but shout out to Radical Reggie. He let me know that it did come out on the Switch eventually. But for the longest, it was a PS4 exclusive, and that game looked amazing. What I liked about this game, y'all know I always stress that I'm not a graphics head, but... I got to give credit when credit due. The first stage of this game looks amazing, ladies and gentlemen. The water, 
colors and the background effects. It looks amazing on the PS4. I don't know how it look on the Switch. I can't speak for the Switch, but the PS4, the background graphics looks amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Astro Breed uh, is pretty much you, and you find out it's kind of a weird story about the little girl and her sister and... You know, shooters, shooters shoot really don't have too much of a story, but the, the graphics on this game looks amazing. If you wanted to advertise what the PS4 could do, Astro Breed was where it's at, ladies and gentlemen. Their game just looks amazing. It's, the music is pretty decent, too. Music ain't nothing to write home about, but what really got me to play this game so much was the graphics. And y'all know I'm not a graphics head, but this game, I have to give credit with credit due. The graphics look amazing on this game. You want to see a good shoot 'em up that looks amazing? Check out Astro Breed. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Y'all know. Y'all got to correct me on these pronunciations and everything. But coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number nine has to be Astro Breed. Moving right along. Moving right along. ミサイル砲撃で私のシールドなら多少は持つけど連続した被弾は危険だわさっきと見てなさああ見てろ全部ぶった切ってやるぜそうバカなのまずは基地のゲートが閉まりそうなんでだこっちは忙しくてさ開
right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number seven is Star Doors. Let me see. This is a weird title. I'm probably going to butcher this, so y'all don't get mad at me as I butcher this. Stardust Warriors Stella Climax. I think that's right. <laughs> I might have got it. I'm not going to try to pronounce that again. But this game is pretty tight, ladies and gentlemen. It came out on the PS4. Shout out to my homie Nato Madden. Me and him sat down and beat this game. This game is pretty tight. It's four-player co-op. Which that's what's so tight about this shooter. It's a shooter slash... Hack and slash, but it still got the shooting elements in it, so I'm going to qualify it as a smup. And this is pretty tight, ladies and gentlemen. We got a deep storyline, too. Not, I ain't going to say deep. It's deep enough for me. Deep storyline. Uh, you can level up your characters, get them brand new armor and equipment every time you play through this game. And this is pretty tight. I love this game, ladies and gentlemen. The tight game that me and Nato Maddox went through and played together and beat it. I, 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 I like this game. This is a good uh, side scrolling smoke. It's more of a. It's got some RPG elements in it, but I'm going to qualify it as a smoke. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number seven, I'm not going to try to pronounce that again. I'm just going to say Stardust Warriors. I know this game came out on PS4, so I'm not sure what other consoles it came out on. Y'all know. Y'all YouTube Warriors down in the comments section. Let me know. Okay? <laughs> Stage clear. Select upgrade. Stage two. gentlemen coming in at number six is Sardner X2 uh, I think the final prototype they got it they done remade this game twice but I first game made it made this played this game on PS3 ladies and gentlemen then they eventually bought it out on PS4 but Sardner X2 uh, is a tight game it's people uh, who is that that made it uh, I forgot East East Asia soft they are shooter group that they make a lot of shooters and they still making shooters to this day and this game was pretty tight ladies and gentlemen it's a sequel to Sodner X and this game graphics what to me or really pushed the PS3 it made the PS3 look great this also came out on PS Vita too by the way and this one was a two-player co-op and me and uh, my homie David we beat this one together he probably don't even remember us beating it but uh, we, me and him beat this one together, and it's a tight shooter, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a sequel to, uh, Sardner X, and this one has a pretty little tight storyline, pretty much it's showing you that you, your plane is trying to stop the alien invasion, and it's kind of, kind of like a spinoff of Greatest a little bit, but it's its own storyline. I don't want to spoil nothing for you guys and girls, but that's how great the storyline is. And the graphics look good. And I remember one of the bosses, he had to fight a big old Gundam type looking uh, character. I was like, man, y'all got that from Gundam. But, <laughs> hey, if you like some, put it in your video game, man. The bosses are huge and pretty environments. You can see where you're going. Now, the music on this game is pretty good. What's so tight about this, when you buy it, when you buy it for the PS3, I don't know about PS4. They gave you the soundtrack with it. And I love this soundtrack to this one. But, uh, yeah. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number six has to be Sodner X2.
right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number five has to be Life Force. Now, Life Force, ladies and gentlemen, will always hold a special place in my heart because this is one of the many, not too many, me and my dad didn't beat too many games ago. This is one of the few games me and my dad beat together. And he might not remember, but I always remember this. He rented this game and me and him went through it and beat it. And Life Force, you didn't know, is a side-scroller slash horizontal shooter that's pretty much a, a, the American version of Salamander. Salamander also came out in uh, Japan, and never Salamander never did come out over here. Now it came out over here. You can buy it on the uh, PS4, Nintendo Switch, in the arcade classic collection. Uh, you know, if y'all want to check that out, y'all need to buy that. It's pretty good. They... You know, they have sales on the PlayStation Store and probably on Nintendo Switch. And that comes with Salamander on there. That's pretty much the Japanese version of Life Force. And Life Force is destroying them all. It's a good game. Uh, pretty much you fighting inside an alien's body, I think. And you, you got to guide your plane through it and get all the way through it and get to the last boss. I just was, It's been so long since I beat this game because I played on the original Nintendo. I can't even remember the ending to it, but I do know... And remember for a fact that I did beat it. One of these days, I'm going to sit down and try to go through it and beat it again. <laughs> it's been so long since I beat it. But Life Force will always hold a special place in my heart because me and my dad beat that together. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number five has to be Life Force. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number four has to be the Raiden series, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the Raiden series. I first played at the movie theater I used to work at, and it was on the arcade. And it was pretty tight. It had a little arcade machine up there. It had Raiden 1 or 2, I can't remember. But I love the Raiden series, ladies and gentlemen, all of them. I haven't played Part 5 yet. I have it over there, just haven't got around to it. I heard Part 5 is real good. But I, I, I got Raiden 1, 2, 3... And four, because I remember four was exclusive to the, uh, to the Xbox over here. To eventually came out on PlayStation, they re remade it on the PS3. But yeah, I love the Raiden series, ladies and gentlemen. I think Raiden Five. Correct me down if I'm. I always keep tearing it up. Correct me if I'm wrong down there in the comment section. There we go. Let me slow down, so they'll slow down. <laughs> I think Raiden Five was the first Raiden that they had like an actual storyline to it. But the other Raidens really didn't have no storyline to it. Just you know. Destroy them all. I'm <laughs> quoting, quoting gradients on that. But, uh, and Life Force. But pretty much Raiden is a side scrolling shooter. It's one of the most famous ones out there, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't heard of Raiden, and if you're a shooter mother fan, something wrong with you, go check it out, ladies and gentlemen. I think the PlayStation launch title, shout out to my homie Mike. He had this on his PlayStation, PlayStation 1. The launch title for it was Raiden 1 and 2, which is pretty a pretty tight launch title, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you get your. Get your uh, your console out there. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I love the Raiden series. It's a good, plain, good shoot em up. That's where it's at, ladies and gentlemen. Love, love me some greatest uh, series. So coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at not greatest, I'm tripping. Raiden series. I'm tripping, y'all. Forget it. Coming in at number four has to be Raiden, the whole series.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number three has to be Ikaruga. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to my homie Mike. He put me on this series. This series, I first played this series on GameCube. I was over at my, my homie Mike's house and we beat this game together. I don't know if he remember, but I remember a great memory. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Igaruga, I first played on the GameCube. I know, I think it came out on some other consoles because they rebought it back out on 360. And I, I did rebuy it on. Man, I bought this game a whole bunch of times. Yeah. I, I never did get the GameCube version, but I. I rebought it. I never had it on GameCube. My, my friend Mike had it. I bought it on the 360, and I rebought it again on the PS4. Yeah, because they rebought it out on the PS4. So it's out on PS4, 360, probably out on Nintendo Switch too. But Igaruga is a hard game. It's a, I think it's a sequel to Radiant Silver Gun that came out on the Sega Saturn. And that game right there, ladies and gentlemen, that's a hard game. Oh, my God. Treasure made this game too. He treasure, folks. I'm telling y'all about this. Known for hard shooters, treasure made this game too. But this is a sequel to it. The Igaruga is a tight game, ladies and gentlemen. It has a pretty good storyline to it. And I did not like the ending to the game. That's my only gripe to Igaruga. It's the ending to it. I didn't like the ending to the game. I'm not going to spoil the ending for you guys and girls. But I didn't like the ending to the game. But this game is amazing. What makes this game so amazing, like I told you guys and girls, when you make a shooter, you got to have great music behind it. And Igaruga has some great music. That first uh, stage boss music is amazing. Oh, God, it gets you crump. Don't get me wrong, that boss will kick your tail, but that music on that game will get you crump, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Great music. That will make Igaruga so good. Not only that, but it's a challenging game. Igaruga gonna beat your tail now. Don't, don't, don't walk into Igaruga think you're just gonna walk through it. I think it's actually harder than um, rating uh, Greatest 5, in my opinion. That's a, Igaruga's a two-player co-op also, which is pretty tight about that. But it's a great game. Great music, great stages. Just didn't like the ending to the game. That's just me. But you guys you guys and girls are made like the ending. That's just me. That's how I am. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number three has to be Ikaruga. down to the top two thank you guys and girls for sticking with me so far coming in ladies and gentlemen number two is sodner x the original sodner x on ps3 wow now ladies and gentlemen this one i wish they would bring back out on the ps4 and you know modern day consoles because this is my favorite what got me with sodner x was not only the music the first stage music and just the whole soundtrack is amazing and one of my favorite songs on there is later on when you get to it's called Hyperspace Assault. And everything is coming at you like you going through an astro field of number of rocks and everything imaginable is coming at you and you and the music just 
hit you when you when you get there, ladies and gentlemen. The music pretty much describes exactly what you're flying through. Cause you're flying through a, a astro belt and a number of rocks and everything you can imagine, meteors flying at you. You got to try to get through there to get to the last boss. And wow, it's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Sonder X, I beat by myself one day. I think I was playing. We was trying to get ready to go somewhere. Me and my folks were trying to get ready to go somewhere. And I was just sitting there playing, and I think I might have had it on easy mode. Probably did. It don't matter. I beat the game. I ain't proud for trying to get through pride and all this stuff. I ain't proud for no more. If I beat the game on easy, I don't care. But uh, neither here nor there. And I sat there, and they sat there and watched me play it, and I beat it. I was like, man. I didn't realize I beat it because I was having so much fun playing the game. That's how fun the game is. You get that lets you know a game is fun when you get lost in a game and, you, and hours go by and you realize, dang, I've been playing this game for this long and you only realize that's how fun the song directs is. Now, graphics wise, y'all know I'm not a graphics here, but I gotta talk about the graphics of this game. The first stage on this game looks amazing. I mean, just the, the environment, the background, just all, it's pretty. It's real pretty. The graphics on the first stage, of Sonic X are real pretty. And it really showed me what a PS3 can do when I first saw that. I was like, wow, that looks amazing, ladies and gentlemen. And all those stages on this uh, game looks amazing. This one has a storyline, too. Because the whole time, there's somebody narrating it to you. And that's why I had to put Sonic X2 and Sonic X1 on here, because both of them are great games. And they really need to be described as two different games. Now, Sonic X1 uh, is two-player co-op two set with this two-player co-op both of you use the same life bar unlike Sonic X 2 I think you use different life bar break me if I'm wrong down that comment section but yeah Sonic X 1 was like that and it was real hard this game is hard I ain't gonna lie to you I see why they didn't want to port it over because it's kind of got a little difficulty to it but once you sit down and learn the mechanics of this game uh this game system is like one of those ones where you know you gotta keep switching your weapons out to get power up. It's different, it's very unique. It ain't your typical power-up system. It's a unique power-up system. I gotta give East Asia soft credit. Shout out to y'all. And they did a great game with this, man. I love this game. One of my favorite shooters of all time. But, we got number one coming up. But coming in at number two is Sodner. Staying down, we down to the number one. My favorite, my number one favorite shoot 'em up of all time is Gradius Three. Wow, I know y'all probably thinking three is three for real sidekicks. I'll keep calling myself sidekicks. Can't say that name no more. Double Dragon Nine Twelve. Yes, that is my favorite shoot of all time. The SNES version. Now. I know they made it for the arcade and all that stuff. But my favorite version. What's the SNES, SNES version? This is a game me and my second brother, uh, second youngest, I'm just right. Anyways, me and one of my brothers, 
We used to play this game a lot together, and uh, man, it was fun, ladies and gentlemen. The music on this game, like I told y'all, what makes a smuff so tight is the music. If you ain't got a good music with a shoot 'em up, to me, you ain't got a good shoot 'em up. Now you can still have a good shoot 'em up without music, good music, but what makes it a stellar music, stellar music, stellar shoot 'em up, ladies and gentlemen, is the music, ladies and gentlemen. The music makes a shoot 'em up just amazing to me. Now this one has some tight tracks on it. stage three, stage, uh, the plant stage. I can keep going. This whole soundtrack, you can just jam in your car. Sometimes I do. But that's how great this soundtrack is, ladies and gentlemen. On Sony. Um, uh, Rock it out on a Super NES with some Sony chips in there. And Konami making that great music. I don't know who that is that made the music for greatest, but I got to give that man a clap. Man or woman, it might be a woman that did it. Whoever did that, uh, shout out to y'all because y'all made some great music with Greatest 3, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Greatest 3 is hard. Even the Super Nintendo version is hard. Uh, apparently, shout out to Smokes Junkie. I think I said his name right. I have a link to his uh, channel down in the comment section. I watch his channel a lot. I think uh, Greatest 3 used to have, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section, used to have a lot of slowdown in Super Nintendo. Years. I like the slowdown. If he dies, all that stuff, they're coming at you. But I think they made a, uh, a patch Somebody made a patch where they got rid of the slowdown and made it where it's kind of like the arcade version. But the slowdown kind of helps you. The greatest three, ladies and gentlemen, I actually beat this game. I had to cheat. I put in that little code uh, to get all your uh, power-ups. But ladies and gentlemen, even though you put in that code to get all your power-ups, it's still a tough game. Because later on, down in the line, when you get down to the later stages of the game, you can try to put that code in, but they like, nope, you ain't putting this code in today. Uh, double track and die twelve. You just gotta beat it the regular way. But either way, I put in the code to get it, uh, the max power ups that you can get. And what's so tight about Greatest Three was they added on to what Greatest One and Two made, and, and you know, just added to it. If it wasn't broke, they didn't try to fix it. Is it wasn't broke, they didn't try to fix it. They added to it. You got the options system. I think this is the first greatest game with the options circle around you. Now that's my favorite options right there. You know, you can always have the options but going behind you, or you know, just follow you wherever you go. But my favorite one is where the options go behind you, go around you. I think that cover you. You have your seal, your fourth field, then you have your question mark at the end where if your fourth field go down, you can power it back up if you want to. You know, your typical twin lasers, your ripples. You know all your different guns that's on the greatest games and man greatest three will always be my favorite don't get me wrong i played greatest four and five they're great games but three at three on the snes will always hold a special place in my heart ladies and gentlemen i love the great greatest three on the snes man that's my game right there my favorite shoot em up of all time now that about wraps it up ladies and gentlemen for my top 15 smokes of shoot em ups of all time Leave down in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen, your favorite shoot 'em ups of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, I know there's plenty more shoot 'em ups out there. I just haven't got around to them right now. Right now, I'm trying to currently, when I get a chance, I'm playing Nesky Chronicles. I'm playing that one. That seems pretty good. And I want to play some more shoot 'em ups. Maybe this list will change. Maybe I'll get some more on there. But this is all I have right now. But these are all the shoot 'em ups I played so far in my lifetime on this earth. So that about wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen. Leave comments below. Like I said, don't get mad at my list. Leave comments below if you're shooting most of all time. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Stay tuned for more great videos on the way. Double Dragon 912 signing out. Peace out.
Oh, 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 oh.